So many memories in one machine. Like this is this has been my life for the last eight to ten years, you know. Well, g'day, welcome to Jojo Moto. Today's video is a little bit of a sombre one. I'm not super excited about it, but it still should be a bit of fun, and uh, I'm going to bring you guys along with us. Well, unfortunately, uh, the 300 is being sold. And as much as I'm excited about the, the new bike and that sort of thing, um, it is not a fun day for me. You guys have heard me say so many times that this is my forever bike. Um, but, you know, things change. You know, I should never say forever. Um, yeah. Anyway, whole sequence of events has led to me um, deciding to sell the bike. So the plan for today's video is I want to get this bike absolutely perfect for the next um, owner. So I've owned the bike for, I don't know, eight to 10 years now and have absolutely loved it. You guys know that I have absolutely enjoyed this bike to no end. And I want to make sure the new owner gets that same life out another five, 10 years or whatever out of it um, with a bunch of new parts that I've had sitting around anyway and that, uh, that I need to, to fit to the bike. So. That's the plan, we're gonna be fitting out the bike, making sure it's running perfect, uh, doing everything we need to do to get it ready to sell for the new owner so the new owner is amazingly happy with it. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's tuck into the work. I'll, I'll go through all the jobs right now. So we've got a new seat cover to go on. We've got new grips. I'm gonna be tidying up all the plastics. I'm gonna be taking off all the, um, the Jojo Moto style stickers and, and bits and pieces, the rim stickers and my spoky dokies and all sorts of things. Take my number plate off. Um, clean the bike down and get it looking absolutely amazing so that uh, you know it'll sell a bit easier and, and the new new owner will be happy with it. But then we've got some uh, bigger maintenance items as well. We're gonna fix up the starter system so that the starter works perfectly every time. Um, we've got some new brake pads and, and, and tuning and that sort of thing, like clean the carby, we'll clean the air filter, put new gearbox oil in it, um, just so it's like really Mickey Mouse and ready to go for the new owner. And we'll just do a, like a full check over as well, um, polish everything up and make sure everything's perfect. So that's the plan. Um, and I guess we, uh, we, we, we better get stuck into it, I guess. I don't know where to start. Um, always is the beginning at the first, you know, the starting at the beginning is the best part, but. In the beginning, in the, in the bini, in the beninging. But, uh, I think we'll start just uh, removing stickers and things like that. Maybe do the grips and bits and pieces. Start with some of the easier stuff and then move on to the, the bigger stuff later. So yeah, let's get into it. So many memories in one machine. Like this is, this has been my life for the last eight to 10 years, you know? Everything that I've been doing is in regards to realistically this bike. That's pretty full on the thing, you know, thanks. Uh, Hyper Eyes had a few name changes now, Cordetti Motorsports. Um, you know, getting these stickers made up. It's all because of this bike. That's a bit of a tear jerking moment. Someone's cutting some onions, hey? It's a sad day. Oh well. They say uh, more is lost by indecision than wrong decision, so. Just have a crack at it, huh? Let's change things up. Definitely white underneath it. What's that?
quick little break here to thank my amazing Buy Me A Beer supporters. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. Um, thank you so much for your support. If you want to be a Buy Me A Beer supporter, just check out the link below. You guys know uh, how much work and time and effort I put into these videos. So quick little uh, couple of dollars and shout me a beer would be amazing. And um, I guess while we're at it, there's a, there's a fair few like sponsored parts, or sponsored, whatever you want to call it, sponsored parts on the bike as well. Um, you know from over the years so thank you to all of the amazing um, people that have supported you know companies that have supported the channel as well you guys rock um, so yeah cheers thank you wonder um, wonder what we're gonna do with all the merchandise might not be needed for the next bike hey eh? If you guys can see that, there's the little tear in the seat. So, um, yep, had this moto seat uh, seat cover sitting there for a while. So, um, again, put it on and uh, keep the new owner happy. Put that out in the sun. <laughs> Good. Just gonna trim up the edges and it looks awesome. Really matches the bike, I think. The next little uh, thing we're gonna start working on is we're gonna pull off the bash plate and the uh, expansion chamber because it's time to play with the starter motor. The starter motor's been amazing for the last five years or so with that new 410 watt one, but lately it's just starting to get a little bit, yeah. So I've got a new starter motor, I've got bushes if I need them. Um, we're just gonna start to pull it apart, put some of the new things in there. I've charged the battery fully um, and just see if we can get it going because again, I want the new owner to be absolutely stoked and happy and I want that starter motor to work like it's always worked for me. So let's get into it. Too dodgy with the rear, you know how it had those spaces and stuff in the single back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's kind of all in bits at the moment, but um, I'm dead keen to test out this uh, new starter motor. So let's just have a little check around, make sure she's good, and then we'll hit the button and see what it sounds like. All right, let's hit the button. Fingers crossed, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, start. it feels strong, starting strong, that's for sure, compared to the other one. Cool, sounding good, so uh, I guess we'll just keep going now. All right, so bark busters, that tail section, um, the seat, obviously doing the, the new 
seat cover so the underside of the seat needs a big clean up um, I'm doing the headlight and headlights around as well cleaning the filter the air filter obviously um, just getting rid of like I said years of dirt um, you know there's just stuff that I haven't cleaned in god knows how long um, this is the tail section here and then we're going to heat it up and make it look all nice and new um, but like I said apart from that just cleaning up just cleaning 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 just so much mud and gunk uh, to be tidied up and polishing and uh, before it gets put back on the bike it'll be looking absolutely the perfect. stickers are coming off um, I'll probably take off the front plastics as well and give them a good clean but just yeah just everything is just so so dirty um, and just needs a really good 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 clean up so yeah I'm just going through and uh, giving it a nice spruce up I want the new owner to be super super stoked with it so as always thank you to our friends at uh, super cheap auto um, the whole bike is getting a degreaser A decreaser. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm halfway through a whole lot of jobs right now, but um, uh, I just started to look at all the built-up grease and and grime and whatever, and just started thinking it's gonna need to soak. So we're gonna let it soak. Well, here's one of those five-minute jobs that makes all the difference. See that sort of, you know, corroded, a bit rusty head, dirty dirt, you know, covered in dirt, and then you look at that one. Um, 30 second zap with the uh, with the drill, a uh, little wire wheel thingy, and um, it's hard doing it one-handed, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see if we can. I mean, there you go. It's it's not finished, but it's 100% better than what it was. It takes a couple of seconds to do it, so all those things make the new owner happy as a Larry. All right, just out the back of the shed where the mess is. Um, <laughs> not that the rest of the shed's not a mess anyway, but uh, just made myself a little washing facility so we can get rid of all of the dirt and grime before we start to polish things up. So, yeah, let's uh, start washing some parts, eh? Well, this is quickly turning into a uh, how to clean your dirt bike video. <laughs> anyway, um, we've got all of the ingredients to make a nice, clean, shiny bike. I've got a few little hot tips here for you too. Um, obviously every brush under the sun from Super Cheap Auto, but these little um, steel wool, soaped up steel wool pads are awesome for, uh, you know, sort of polishing any sort of aluminium or, um, or steel and whatever. It just gets them really bright and shiny. Uh, we've got our Super cheap auto truck wash there, ready to spray on. We've got the pressure cleaner uh, ready to go as well. And a few little uh, extra bits and pieces here to really scrub it up and get every part shining. So let's just get cracking. It's starting to rain a little bit, but um, that's all right. We'll get into it. After hours and hours of scrubbing, cleaning, um, sanding, everything, the bike is finally all cleaned up and looking absolutely fresh. Um, it's going to need a bath in the uh, Super Cheap Auto interior cleaner stuff, which is my little hot tip and secret with uh, any bike related stuff. But um, yeah, we're pretty much at the point now where we'll just be uh, cleaning things and putting them back together now, putting the bike back together. And I'll just show you the example, you know, here's the, the front mask, the headlight mask here. You can see it's faded, it's um, got where you used to see the stickers and stuff, so I'm going to have to apply some heat. I might have to do some uh, just very fine sanding as well, um, and then spraying and making it look all good. But that'll be with all of the plastic parts, um, and then we're going to move on to some of the mechanicals. Like I've said a hundred times, we're going to do the air filter and uh, replace the gearbox oil, stuff like that. So yeah, let's just uh, get a looking minty fresh. Well, I'm not finished yet, but uh, the headlights round is starting to look good. This is one side of it, round, dirty. You can really see where the stickers were. And uh, this is the other side, sanded, clean, not polished properly yet, but um, you know, just a whole lot better than that side for sure. Let's keep going. Let's try and make this thing look absolutely schmick. Woohoo! 
can see that little white mark there. See if we can make it disappear. It's definitely gone. Um, so that's the point of this uh, little bit of heat treatment. Any of those sort of white marks where the plastic has had a bit of a, a crooked bit or whatever. A um, little bit of heat to it. You know, you can use a heat gun or whatever. Um, and it should just peel right out of it. It looks awesome after that. So then it's all that uh, spray and polish and get it looking sweet. Now, as we start to get things back together, it's soaking time. Um, I think I've shown you guys this about a hundred times. Amazing, super cheap auto, um, interior clean and protect. Uh, these guys look after us with lots of different things and this is no different. So this on plastic stuff um, is absolutely amazing. This sort of, you know, little bit faded black there is just, you soak it in that, um, wipe it off, whatever, wear it later um, and it's just, the bike gets covered in it and it's amazing and it makes just shine every little part of the bike shine so i cannot recommend this stuff enough <laughs> Alright, well it's not perfect, but um, it's a whole lot better than what it was. So. As always, we're um, chasing. The whole front end is together now and looking absolutely amazing. Gosh, are we sure we want to get rid of this bike? Look at how beautiful it is. <laughs> um, yeah, everything's clean, polished, painted, whatever up the front. Um, so now we're just going to keep moving on to the back section, see what we're going to do next. Okay, so every single part of the bike has been polished, cleaned, pulled apart, um, poly you know, everything's been done to it and uh, I feel like it's looking absolutely amazing. So we've done air filter, we've done new oil, we've put every new part on the bike and just made it absolutely, you know, top notch, ready to go for the new owner. So the final thing is uh, now that it's been put back together, uh, will it start? So. We've got the new starter motor on as well. Um, we've got some fresh fuel and everything ready to give it a hit and uh, fingers crossed she'll be running sweet. Well, a lot of emotions. It is 100% done. I've taken the amazing photos, getting it ready for sale. Um, <sighs> 
sad day hey sad day i you know have had so many amazing memories on this bike but i just want it to be absolutely perfect and ready for the new owner to do the same thing you know have it for many years and love it and treat it well and just yeah be, make some make some awesome memories on it uh it's running beautifully sweet uh run straight off the starter straight away like this new starter is just bang on Just, yeah, running crisp and clean and um, oh, just took it for a quick little ride then to make sure everything was perfect and man, what a ripper. I'm going to miss it. The power, it's absolutely ridiculous. I think I've said it, you know, a hundred times. It's the fastest 300 I've ever ridden. It is just mental. So much torque. So, yeah, I guess now we're uh, waiting to see uh, how the sale goes. And with that is the uh, end of the video. It's going to be gone. I'm going to be sad, um, but excited about new things to come so thank you guys so much for watching hope you've uh, enjoyed hanging out and you know cleaning everything up and making it look awesome and doing all those maintenance things uh, getting it ready for the new owner to really enjoy it so yeah thanks for hanging out um, do the subscribe the notifications drop a comment below let me know what you think about it and I will see you guys on the next video goodbye 300 <laughs>